Hi everyone, welcome back to another Creo tutorial. Today I'm gonna create a simple rendering and model of a cup. Let's try make a nice picture using Creo. Here is a, another another rendering. So there's a few simple settings we can use to make a nice quick render. And let's get started. So I'll make a new file and I'll pick a millimeter part solid. Let's turn on the planes there. Alright, first thing we'll create the main shape. And I'll pick a center and point circle. And let's make this about seventy five millimeters, and then we'll extrude that up about sixty five. Okay, next step we're going to create a half cut. So click extrude, click on the bottom surface and draw a circle from the center. Make it about 60, 66 mil and accept. And we're gonna go extrude up and click remove material. And flick. Oh, make sure we turn on remove material, remove on the outside and then up. And let's make it go about halfway, which is 33. And then we accept. And we're going to add a round here, click on this edge. And click round. Let's make it about 4 mil round and accept that and then I'll add rounds here as well I'll make it 2 mil maybe 1 mil and accept that and then we'll make it a hollow cup click on the top surface click on shell and I'll make the thickness about two millimeters and accept let's have a look on the inside and I'll add a round on the top and bottom here to make it look realistic I'll make it 0.5 of one millimeters I'll press ctrl D to reset the view and finally I'll add a handle to the cup I'll load in reference so we can measure from. It's a quite a reference here and here, and I'll click click a rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle just past this reference, and I'll set this distance from here and here to be about two mil. So it attaches to the, the cup and I'll make this about 18 and let's bring this down to about 28 and then what I'm going to do is click circle, I'll click on free tangent circle, I'll make a circle tangent from here, here and here and then I'll press the middle click button to do it again, it's not doing it again, so click again and the middle click button to finish and then we go delete segment to make turn this into a handle and to remove these lines and you should have like an egg, egg shape here and then we'll accept okay there's, X, there's still a line left here make sure you go in check everything is um, left with a loop line all the way around. 
Okay, this is not connecting. Just click on the corner tool here and my get attach. Uh, there you go. It should be. It should have have a pink shade color to show it's a closed shape. All right, we right click here and make it symmetrical. Okay, I'll make it about thirteen point five. Accept. And now we're going to create an extrude cut hole here. We go click on there and we go to offset, switch to loop. Click on this surface and type minus two. Close that off. Um, let's make that minus uh, minus one point five and accept. And we remove material. Click this arrow to go the other way and accept. All right, we need to add in the rounds to make it look realistic. And around here on the back, where at the top and bottom, and I'll add rounds here as well. I'll accept that, and finally, I'll add a round here, here, and on the other side. 0 0.5 looks good. All right, there you go, we're finished with that. We have our model. Turn off these brown datum guides. All right, let's get uh, started with rendering. So rendering the plastic shiny material is good. We go view and go to appearance. Plastic gloss. Plastic gloss looks nice when we render it and I'm going to do a white color for the start and when you see this it means you need to select what to apply the cut the material to and I'll pick um, the whole part now we'll select a scene I will go ahead and do the wood scene wood material and I'll turn on background and then we go application render studio and let's have a look let's try, try the other scene alright this scene looks better Alright, so rendering, a uh, good thing to do is turn on perspective and zoom into the correct size. And you can go to scenes, edit scenes, and adjust the zoom to get the scales right. Oh, I like to zoom in a bit more. Alright, that looks good to me, so I'll spin it this way. And then in rendering, we put on the sample. Samples reduce the noise, it takes longer, but it makes the picture look good. So I'll make it about 40. And let's go ahead and hit render. All right, I'm going to pause the video and see the results. Okay, here's the results. It looks less noisy. You can see it's got nice reflection there. The material looks like plastic material, the rounds makes it look realistic and let's have a look at here's another sample one if you change the color you can make it look different so there you go that's a nice simple tutorial on how to create a nice image very quickly thanks for watching have a nice day